You're strutting casually down the street when a man comes up to you looking beat with telltale traces of hippie on his chin. You say howdy and he says, hi, got anything that'll make me fly? And if you do, I surely wish you'd let me in on what you're dealing, brother. In your mind, you start to ponder what to turn this fellow on to. And then you get a look into his eyes. You find his beard is only makeup and his line is purely fake up. Then and only then you realize that he's your friend, the neighborhood narco agent friend, the neighborhood narco man, courtesy of your local FBI. Your friend, the neighborhood narco daddy, all American thinking fetty, there to trip you up while you are high. You're sitting in the coffee house gloom when the waiter comes up to you with a broom and he asks to sweep the floor around your chair. When you ask him why, he says, routine, we like to keep our coffee clean and he proceeds to tidy up with care. You light yourself a cigarette, find out soon as you got it lit that 40 newfound friends are by your side. Someone hands you a note that's pencil telling you your flight's been canceled just the same you're going for a ride. Shh. With your friend, the neighborhood narco agent friend, the neighborhood narco man, courtesy of your local FBI. Your friend, the neighborhood narco daddy, all American thinking Betty, there to trip you up while you are high. Now you duck into an alleyway thinking, hey, maybe I can cop a J and get back before the boss finds out I'm gone. Remembering the golden rule, you look both ways, make sure it's cool, and when there ain't a soul for miles around, you clutch your baggie full of weed and careful not to spill a seed, you roll a joint as big as Baltimore. And as you take that first big drag in a helicopter, drops a paddy wagon, and guess who's standing smiling by the door? It's your friend, the neighborhood narco agent friend, the neighborhood narco man, courtesy of your local CIA. Your friend, the neighborhood college dropout, undercover copper copout, keeping law and order bright and gay. Yes, you find out that the freak you trusted is the fink that got you busted. And 20 years is a long time.